easily browse at his own schedule to see upcoming fights or catch up on recent events. Never miss a punch by setting reminders that alert you on your mobile device. I am here with the main event, Jay Swingler. How are you feeling? Absolutely fantastic. Oh, 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 where he catches this and look at his body position and he has to pull that back around under his feet. Navigate fight night, key moments, replay the rounds of the action you want to see again and again. To the water for the final time. He's won the race to go along with a championship. Absolutely magnificent. What a strike that is. The following program is recommended for those 16 and over as it contains sporting violence, possible bad language and flashing imagery. Look at that, the glorious Wembley Arch. But it's not Wembley Stadium on Saturday, it's the Ovo Arena. Can you see that? Misfits 007 all goes down this Saturday. I think we've got three main events. Look, the main event is KSI versus Joe Fournier. But don't tell me Deji versus Swarms ain't a main event. Don't tell me my favorite fighter of all time, Salt Pappy versus Anthony Taylor ain't a main event. You guys never see this, do you? This is the production room. This is the brains trust. This is where all the magic happens. They try and make me look a bit better than I look, which I doubt they can. Anyway, press conference starts in 20 seconds, I gotta go. KSI returns for X Series 007, live on the zone pay per view. Two unbroken records, ready to be shattered. Right, I wanna have a scrap with a guy. Two unbreakable mindsets, set to collide in the ring. Knock him out, clean. This will fly like sharks. Right. Will break. X Series 007, they have a license to thrill, but only one will be broken. May 13th, live only on The Zone pay-per-view. Sign up at DAZN.com. Here we go. Here we go, Mams. Kala, we're here. Grab a mic, Mams. Let's do this. Misfits 007 goes down this Saturday, live on The Zone pay-per-view. I'm with the two big boys here. You know what? Someone told me, and I, I agree with them. They said, okay, look, main event is KSI versus Joe Fournier. That's the main event. It is the main event. I think we've got three main events. I, I think we've got three. We've got a couple of big ones. People are saying... This is what they're saying on the streets, by the way. That's what the young kids use. They're saying Salt Pappy versus Anthony Taylor is a main event. And you guys could have gone that one, main event by itself. You could have gone main event, Deji versus Swan. But we're all together on a big fight card. How excited is it? Over arena, sold out, can't get a ticket. How excited are you for Saturday? I mean, I think as always, misfits, um, when you look at, look at this podium up here, it's... Yes, it's about a main event. It's about legacy for KSI, being mm -hmm. a professional boxer. But you can look throughout the card, and I think you look from top to bottom. Uh, we got some fantastic prelims we'll hear about later on as well. Um, but there are so many great fights. And the one, one that's got me thinking a lot, at least, is, of course, uh, Salt Pappy Taylor. But um, it's difficult to look past the main event. It is a big thing. You know, we've seen it tried, mm -hmm. failed earlier in the year. Another crossover star trying that, that step up. Um, we believe in our man, and uh, we believe our outcome will be different on Saturday. I was, um, I was in Miami recently, and obviously Joe Fournier is based out there. And I was like, there's no way he's training, because it's impossible to train in Miami. He's in shape. 
He's in shape. He's been training. He's coming here and he's coming. This isn't a gimmick for him. He's coming and he's been saying, and we're going to hear from him a bit later, that he wants to take KSI's head off. Well, look, Joe's amazing at presenting a certain image of a laid back playboy lifestyle, yes. not bothered about anything. But make no mistake, he has trained very hard because he knows that if he, in his mind, if he can get past KSI, he's looking at other huge opportunities as well. So he's definitely not to be taken lightly. And then um, with regards to the card from top to bottom, I think we really add a, this time we, we have something for everyone. We have uh, Boogie Against Wings, which is YouTube folklore at its yes, finest. Indeed it like is. people who really know about YouTube and have followed, they'll understand the significance of of making something like this happen that Keemstar actually did is unbelievable. Where is Boogie? Is Boogie here? I feel like I've seen him. Where is Boogie? Is he in the building? <laughs> We're gonna hear from him a bit later, but I know he's in the building. He is YouTube folklore, you're all right. Yeah, then we got, um, we got the girls, we got some really exciting girl fights, and we got uh, Tennessee Thresher and Paigey Cakey, which people were like, this must be a prank. You know, and, and no it's, prank people. They don't no, like each other. And you've seen how they've uh, how they looked in the open workouts. They've been training very hard. We got um, we got Belzy and Kim Chi, and that's you know they're looking for that belt ultimately that Astrid's holding. You know, so I'm so happy that Belzy's here and Kim's on the end. Because yes. I didn't trust. I was looking about the table there is a face allocation. Off later as well, is there though. a face there off? There is a face off. We have though, we have yeah. good security was, here because they did. need to be as far away from each other as possible. Those two ladies. Oh yeah, I saw. Yes. Yeah. Don't that. trust them at all. I don't trust Kim. Uh, I don't trust her at all. By the way. No, no, Kim. I'm sorry, Kim. You look like you're ready to throw hands already, and you've got to wait until Saturday. You have to. Talk to me about Salt Pappy. Talk to me about a lot of people saying, look, the main man, look at him right there, Salt Pappy. Everyone's excited to see him against Anthony Taylor, but they're also surprised that you've made this matchup. Like, why would you do this one? It took a lot of work and convincing because they both are represented by Happy Punch, but the consequences... What? Sorry, go on, man, sorry. The consequences of that match are so huge. Salt Pappy... And Anthony Taylor, Anthony wants to derail the Salt Pappy train. The hype is all Salt Pappy. That's Anthony Taylor's opportunity to really step into the big time. And for Salt Pappy, this is really his biggest test. So if he can overcome this test, he really levels up and, and is going to be in the bowl with the big boys. Yeah, just before I let you guys go, look at Swarms. That is Swarms, by the way. I know he looks like he's about five stone lighter. That's Swarms in the corner, by the way. That is a body change, man. That, that's a complete that's body respect. change. Thank you, thank you. And he's taken on a man in Deji who I just said looks like the coolest uncle in the world. Nothing seems to phase Deji. Look at him in the corner. That should be a good fight as well. All right, guys, go and sit down. Go and sit down because we need to get this show on the road as well. Look, two massive pay-per-views on the zone. Obviously, this one on the weekend, huge. Joe Fournier versus KSI. Don't forget this. Uh, August 5th as well, big one. Nate Diaz versus Jake <coughs> Paul. So a couple of massive pay-per-views. And who knows, the winners could fight each other. That's how it happens in this crossover boxing scene. All right, I want to get a word from the main man there, Vice President of Marketing, Dave, sorry, Alfie Sharman is in the building as well. Alfie, uh, a few words about this event and just how important Misfits is for the zone. Yeah, I'm not on the card for those of you who probably guessed. Uh, thanks, thanks, Ade, uh, and thanks everyone for joining us today. A great turnout as always. Um, Misfits and the Zone X Series is probably one of the most exciting projects that I've personally been involved in throughout my career. Um, it's quite remarkable, the growth, when you think back, first event, 001, back in, uh, back in August last year, bringing us right the way up to 007 here, um, on the eve of that, yeah, as you can see. Um, the growth has been incredible, and we're really proud of that at the Zone. It's getting better and better. Already in 2023, we've seen multiple fight nights, um, which have brought more action, uh, more drama, uh, and, and more excitement, and ultimately entertainment to the crossover boxing world. Um, I'd like to thank our, the tireless work of our um, partners in Kala, Nisa, Sauland at Wasserman, all the team there. Um, obviously, MAMS and KSI, all the teams at Proper Loud um, and Misfits, and our superstar production team who travel around the world to put on these excellent events and make sure that I'm sat right in the middle of all of this. Uh, you know, it's chaos that's probably going to ensue. Um, so look into this set. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> looking to this Saturday, obviously live on the zone, gonna be a great fight. I think Joe uh, Fournier obviously presents um, 
KSI's biggest test today. I can't wait to watch it. Um, and best of luck to both fighters. Uh, I'm sure they're going to put on a great show. So all that's left to say, I suppose, is, um, you know, it'll be another exciting event, um, entertaining, unpredictable. Uh, May 13th, tune in live worldwide uh, on The Zone pay-per-view. Uh, thanks very much. You don't really want to hear from us, do you, in the top brass? You want to hear from the fighters. Our first fight on the card, Little Belzy versus Little Kim. Um, this one this one could be anything. This one could be carnage. I know Little Kim's desperate to say a few words. But first, uh, Little Belzy, you've come all the way from Australia. You've had a fight. So your experience in this. Talk about why your experience is going to be a bit too much for someone that's making a debut. Yeah, I think, um, you know, obviously I've had a fight before and this one at the end of the table is a little bit too loud for my liking. She's got a big mouth, so she doesn't know what she's in for. Um, she's obviously never experienced a fight before, so, yeah, I really look forward to Saturday night and just showing her what it's all about. Little Kim, feel to interrupt any time you want. Big mouth. Oh, I, didn't, I wasn't even listening. <laughs> what the fuck did she say? She said that you have a big mouth. Obviously, this is I have a big mouth. Stage. Yeah, I know I have a big mouth. I, I know I definitely have a big mouth because I'm going to fuck you up. Uh, apologies for the language. As expected, this was going to come out of this, this group I'm of sorry. people here. I, no, I, no, think no, the fine, look, I think the choke that she did yesterday, like she thought it was going to, you know, make me feel some type of way, but I actually liked it. So it's all good, girl. I'm used to that shit. Wow. I like that shit, girl. It's all wow. good. Choke me. Choke me, please. Little Belzy, when you saw her doing the workout, what did you make of her in the workout? Were you surprised that she was maybe better for, you know, for someone that's never had a fight before? Were you surprised? Yeah, look, I have been watching her. Not closely, um, but I mean, she can move, but not really. Like, she's flat-footed. I hope she knows more than one combo that's all she's been practicing this whole entire camp. So, yeah, look, I don't think she can move as quick as myself and she doesn't have the IQ of the uh, boxing ring. Um, I've been in Dubai for six weeks uh, training with Coach Chill, who's a very high, highly co like a high coach. Um, so, yeah, I think, yeah, it's, it's obviously going to be good on Saturday night. Look, Kim, what are you expecting from Belzy? Are you expecting... You know, a fight with someone that's a lot taller than you, a lot ranger than you. What are you expecting on Saturday? I mean, is she... I'm just wondering, like, does she think she's going to knock me out? Do you think you're going to knock her out? Look, I've already paid for her ambulance insurance, so... Okay, so, so you really think you're going to fucking knock me out? You think you're going to knock me the fuck out, bitch? You fucking dumb bitch. You have oh, my God. Out. You're so cheap. What did you say? Look at you. You are cheap. <laughs> Girl. I, I half expected this. I half expected that. Look at Can't you. wait for the face-off on this one. <laughs> Fucking what not? I would love, I would love for you to step in the ring right now with me, motherfucker. Do you think I'm scared of you? Oh, Come on, God. please. No, I don't think you're scared at all. I really don't, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see it Saturday night, girl. That's all I got to say. Kella, we expected energy from this one, didn't we? <laughs> I'm looking forward to the face-off on this one. Um, Belzy, question you, for you. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to KO this bitch in three seconds. I'm not fucking around. As I said, I look forward to the face-off. Uh, Belzy, question for you. Misfits is doing huge numbers in Australia. Is that extra that pressure stinks, for you? Man. You're popular in Australia, obviously, down under. We've got a big Misfits following down there. Um, you feel added pressure? Yeah, look, obviously, um, yeah, I've got a very big following back home, so I've got pretty much all of Australia behind me. The support has been amazing, and not only that, um, you know, the opportunity that I've been given here on Misfits to uh, make my debut and just showcase my skills. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm here to, here to do a job and one job only, and that's to knock that bloody thing out there. Ooh. Put a muzzle on it. Can I just say Jeez. something? How long have you been training for? Because I've only been doing this for a month and a couple of weeks. I just it doesn't matter how long, long you've been doing it. For. I'm just saying. Don't, you, that's don't what play I'm that saying. card. I'm, I'm so are. excited to show you what the fuck I'm going to show you. Yeah. You've been doing this for a minute, right? What, what happened, oh, to, no, you? No, what happened no, to you, coach? No, 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 no. What happened to Jack I'm not Rabbit? speaking English. Oh. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. 
Where's your coach Shut at? the fuck up. Oh, you change coaches. That's right. I forgot. I know, and that's what that's oh, the even better part. Okay. Is that I, I was sliding into my DMs. I'm doing that that amount yeah. of time. We'll see. That's what we'll I Okay, see. ladies. Okay, okay, ladies. I told you at the start, these two, Saturday anyway. Hey, face this off, is the first fight of the night, gonna yeah? Be, face this off's going to be impossible. <laughs> this is what kicks <laughs> off. Nice to see Joe Fournier turn up and David Hay. Joe, nice to see you here, Joe. I, I was slightly concerned. Good to be here. Good, good. Nice to see you here, Joe. All right, let's um. Let's Joe was getting on. a manicure. He's a little bit late. He yeah, apologised. Yeah. I, I might suck, but I'm still rich. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I can confirm. He's, he's very rich. I can confirm. <laughs> All right, our next fight on the card. Joe Fournier, the British hush puppy. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. You get your chance even, in a minute. Even your um, fans you don't understand what you're talking minute. about. Ah, soon. All right, next soon. fight on the card. Uh, Veruz versus DK Money. This one's interesting. I want to start with you, DK Money, because I feel like there's pressure on you. What happened last time out against King Kenny? Surely now is the time you get your W, no? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. I like it simple. Bang, 100%. Yep. We're going to do this. How's training been going for you? You do look like you're a bit, like you look a little lighter. You look like you've lost a bit of weight. Oh, 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 oh. What? What the hell? What? Okay, okay, okay. It's not real. Right in. It's okay. going off. Oh, no. I don't know. Okay, it. that's Astrid Wet. Who is that? Uh, Mazel. <laughs> what with just happened? Who, who, who's with what Astrid was that? Oh, <laughs> my. Jerry. What, okay. what was the question again? Jerry. 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 Do we have space for one more fight on the card, Keller? <laughs> have we got space for one more fight on the card? <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Uh, DK. What, what was the question like, again? I said you look like you've lost a lot of weight since the King yeah, Kenny fight. Yeah, I can't fight. hear you. What? Can you not hear me, DK? Okay. okay. Looks like you've lost a lot of weight since the King Kenny fight. Oh, uh, no, I'm the, it's the same weight class, 180, same. Yeah? Yeah. So you're just in shape now, because yeah, I saw yeah, some abs. Yeah, yeah, I was like 240 pounds before I started the King Kenny training camp, yeah. and then I weighed in at 179. Okay. So, yeah. So you're in shape for this one. Yeah, yeah. You're in shape. Uh, the guy you're going to take on, Baruz, is definitely in shape, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely in shape. Baruz, welcome, welcome to London. So How much. excited are you to be on a KSI fight card? So uh, I have that this is one opportunity to, to be the first one in the Spanish community. So thank you so much for, for being here. How do you win this one? Do you think you're gonna knock DK out? He got knocked out in his last fight. Do you think you're gonna knock him out as well? So uh, I saw the, the last uh, fight of DK, but I don't see so much punches in, in any fight, so I don't have any reference of him. DK, do you think you can knock him out, DK? Yeah. Yeah? DK's here for business, like, yeah. Like, Adi, you're just getting a one-word answer for everything. He's here for business. Uh, Baruz, do you think you can knock him out? Yep. Yeah. Who, who said that? Who said no chance? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> by the way, by the way, that's Chase the Moore. God damn it, well. bro. They're all here. Jay, everyone's here. Dean the Great's here as well. They're all here. <laughs> only for the day. Only for the, only for the KSI fight. All right, guys, we're going to move on. We're going to do a face-off with you two a bit later, but we're going to move on to our next fight of the card. This one, I have no idea what's going to happen with this one because there's two ladies making their debut in boxing, Tennessee Fresh versus Paigey Keiki. All right, for those that don't know, I'm going to start with you, Paigey. Why are you two fighting? What's happened? Where's this all come from? Social media. Social media. Yeah. Yeah, but this is good, though, because this is social media that you can solve in the ring, which is good, yeah, right? Yeah, something like that. Who asked for the fight? Did you ask for it or did Tennessee ask for it? Tennessee asked for it. Tennessee, come to the mic, she Tennessee. She came at me on, on TikTok. Hi. Hi, Tennessee. Why did you come at her on TikTok? <clears throat> I didn't come at her. I just made a story time, and then she just got really triggered by it. What was the story time? That her girlfriend was giving me the eyes on my oh. podcast. Oh. Fiance, fiance. Sorry, fiance. Oh. Oh, the fiance's here. Oh, yeah, sure. the fiance's over here. there. <laughs> One second, fiance's here. One second, fiance. Cameraman, follow me. One second, fiance. Fiance, where are you giving her the eyes? She's like twice my age. Am I trying to go jail, bro? What the hell? There you go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> she, she don't want to go jail. Wait, you didn't say if you give her the eyes or not, though. <laughs> Honestly, she's not my type. I like light skins, don't get me wrong, but they got to be sexy, fit, and full of jewelry like my baby. Oh, there you go. Sexy, fit, yeah. full of jewelry. Well, sexy, fit, well, you know. <laughs> Tennessee Fresh is sexy. It's not her type. All right, ladies, talk to me about getting ready for this fight. Tennessee, you first. Like, this is, you're going to have a fight. You're going to get in the ring and throw hands. 
Is there nerves there? Is there excitement? Where are you? Well, I feel like obviously I'm nervous, of course. That would be weird if I wasn't. But I'm excited more than nervous now. Yeah. How's training been going? How long have you been training for? Just under eight weeks. It's a good time. Eight weeks is good. Eight weeks is yeah. good. Sparring as well? Yeah. Everything. Yeah, I heard you was crying and you threw the gloves off. Yeah, I was. That is true. Okay. Yeah, true. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yeah, mm. I was. I was on my period that day and okay. I was just like emotional when I was sparring. I don't know what it was, but I just started crying and then my coach that day was like, look, you just don't come back or you come back. And then I came back. I was going to quit it all at one point. Paige Akeke, you seem very confident, like yeah. very confident. Do you think you just get the job done? Why, why so confident? You've only been boxing six, seven weeks as well, right? Yeah. Why, why the confidence? What is it? Um, honestly, I feel like I've got the best team, the best coach, and I've just been putting in the work, and I'm just a very, very confident person in general. Like, I believe in myself. I believe in everything I do, my craft, my skills. I'm very focused, very disciplined, and, yeah, I'm just ready to show what i got. Mams and Kelly, you reached out to these ladies to get them on the card, right? Is, is, am I correct in saying that? Why? Why are you getting these two ladies to throw hands like this? This is definitely a Mams career. This is a Mams <laughs> one, isn't it? Mams, Mams comes out of these ones. Mams, talk to me. Yeah, I, I reached out to my friend Carl and I saw that the beef was brewing and I thought... And real. Yeah, and when, when there's beef brewing on social media, I'm, I've got my eye out for it. And I thought, you know what? It's bringing in a different audience. It's really interesting. And I really respect how hard they've both worked for this in the eight-week period since we spoke about it. It's just, you can see, like, from A to Z where they've gone. So I'm really excited about it. Indeed, and so you should be. Look, a lot of beef so that's going to be settled on Saturday night on mm. The Zone. A lot of beef. A lot of I'm, beef. I'm, I'm still looking at kimchi over here. She's definitely going to be settled. No, and, and so beef. is the security guard. I like this guy. <laughs> he's, he's making sure as well that she can't come over here in and around this space. Look, so many good ladies throwing hands on Saturday. Remember, on The Zone, we've got so much action as well when it comes to females. Check this out. <laughs> Plus years, I'm relevant. I'm the one doing all the hard work. What a strike that is! Oh my words! This is what we wanted, and they're delivering. Maybe we have just witnessed history. Next week, Saturday, that's a massive fight. Undisputed belt, 140 pounds, up for grabs on that one. It really is a fantastic, fantastic next few weeks on The Zone. All right, let's get to this one. I've been waiting for this one. When this one was announced, I was like, what are they doing? Why are we putting these two together? We don't need to do it, but that's what we do on Misfits. You guys want it, we give it to you. And we wanted to see Salt Pappy challenged. Anthony Taylor was like, you know what? I'm going to step up and do it. I, I want to get to something quite controversial the first time round. So I'm going to come to you on this one because the man behind you, KSI, is giving you a different nickname, which I think is unfair. Yeah, look at him. Three round Pappy, baby. There's the name. You heard it. Three round Pappy. Why is this fight three rounds and not four or five rounds? So talk to me. I mean, first thing, I'd like to thank my, my personal team, my coach, my dad, my brothers. Uh, happy much promotion. Anthony Taylor. Okay, so I missed boxing. You're for, so professional, um, look at you. For, You're um, so professional. Sacrificing Anthony Taylor to me. I'm gonna beat this guy down. There's no way this guy can beat me. Okay, back to the question. I see how you're trying to avoid it a little bit. Why is it three <laughs> rounds? Why is it three rounds? I mean, um, more money comes with more rounds, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. If, the, um, if I can make this um, five shorter than a TikTok video, I would, man, easy work, easy money. To be fair, you kind of, a lot of people are saying it might not even go free. So even if it was four or five, it wouldn't matter. Anthony Taylor. Anthony, you, you fight everyone. They give you all of them, don't they? Idris Virgo, Tommy Fury, you always step up. You think this is easier work than Tommy Fury and Idris Virgo, am I correct? Am I putting words in your mouth or is that what you think? By the way, I like the suit as well, Mr. James Bond. I like what you do. <laughs> Finally, the pretty boy has come back. To London. <laughs> yes, my second home, man. Um, first of all, thank Mams for, you know, the best dress uh, bonus and uh, best fighter promo <laughs> bonus. Appreciate it. You know, I'm always winning, so y'all might as well not compete. Um, thank you, happy punch. Um, 
God. Man, I hear it all the time. I hear it every day in my DMs. Kids, hell. Everybody says, you're going to get starched. You're going to get knocked out. I mean, bro, Tommy Fury said the same thing. What happened? And then I was only three weeks of training. He just Virgo said it. Look what happened. Everybody says they're going to knock yeah, out. Anthony, but they might say it, but there's no W there in the record. So you are, don't get me wrong, you're, taking, you're stepping up and you're taking the fights, but I even Salt said it the other day, didn't he? It's taking the big fights, but you're not getting the W. Man. I'm not saying this. this you put him up this, against this Idris happening. and Tommy Fury next. I guarantee you're going to take those L's. Look, I fight the hardest tough. Look, I was supposed to fight that guy, but he declined my offer twice. Twice. He, he chose to fight a U.S. I've literally guy. never seen this guy before in my life. You stop. <laughs> you know who I am? Stop. Don't act like, bro, I'm the most talked about influencer boxer. Bro. Don't say uh, you don't know who I am. Let's, let's not do that. <laughs> Behind Chase, look. Just no one, just no one's gonna be able to knock me out. Nobody, not KSI, not Logan Paul, not Slim, not Saw Poppy. Bro, it, bro, I want all that smoke anytime, any place, anywhere. Bro, we can, Mavs can create a hardcore belt 24 7, seven days a week and name me champion. I'll fight every fucking minute. Apologies for the language. You gotta defeat me. I'm the champ, look. I'm the one selling all the records. You ain't nothing without me, Otis. <laughs> Look at me! Everybody come to Misfits to see me fight and knock out Saw Poppy. I call him Peppa Pig Poppy. Um, he definitely got the fastest mouth in the game. I hope um, he punched faster and harder than his mouth. I'm gonna punish this guy. They <laughs> call me like, Meatball Mayweather. That's my name, Meatball Mayweather. And I'm Manny Fatia. Not Pacquiao right there. Yeah, yeah, this fat boy is gonna beat his ass up, man. This TikTok dancer is gonna dance on this motherfucker. He fought a Ferrari last fight with no engine. Just a straight Ferrari. Looks nice, built good, but has no engine. You can't, how you gonna drive a Ferrari with no engine? Josh, 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 blah, 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 blah. Bruckner. Josh Bruckner, he gave up. He literally, you punch him, he looked at the ref. I want to go home. I want to go home. He was like, oh, my baby's born. Cash that check, ma'am. Can I get my check and leave? <laughs> Mams called me up. Look, Agent Anthony Taylor, I have a mission for you. I said, what's my mission, ma'ams? I need you to take out Salt Poppy. Down, 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 down. I'm here. 007. I told you. I'm going to be the one who's going to stop him. I'm gonna be the one to stop him. He, come on, bro. He fought Hallaham. I mean, Porky Pig. What's his name? Porky Hallaham. Hallaham. Yes. Yeah. Andy. Who? Andy. I Carly. Andy. I Carly. Andy. <laughs> come on, bro. It's on gonna, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be him next. And now this people, is, people are gonna call him Bomb. Hey, man, I'm thinking, be crush careful. can, taxi driver. Don't let me, man. To the, you don't let me. Hey, I'm gonna walk you down. There's no game plan. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna walk, walk you down. You, down. Not, you don't know how to fight backwards. Great, great. You ain't gonna walk me down. I'm walk no you one, down, bro. No one can't knock me out. I can't be touched. I can't be stopped. And I can't be. Man, moved. you got big ass head, man. I cannot miss. I got and I got a, and I got a big ass neck, 22 inches, baby, like Tyson. Mm. I might not knock you out. I'm gonna break your nose, though. No, you got your I'm, nose broke. I'm gonna put you in the hospital. God. I'm gonna book a chef and look after you. Look at me, baby. I smell good. I look good. I'm the good. I'm the best fighter here. I can beat up everybody in MMA. All Joe Fournier's bodyguards. I'll beat them all up, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna sign this shoe sideways and stick it straight up his candy ass. What's up? How about that? Catch me outside. Well, what, what are you even saying, man? Well done. Come well on, done. baby. I'm gonna whip his man, ass so this hard. Guy, this guy's just all so much, man. In that makes sense. This ass whooping's going to be so hard, it's going to be a tsunami that hits the Philippines with this ass whooping. Whoosh, you feel that ass whooping? I did. Did you? Okay, guys, um, we'll move on. <laughs> Face-off's going to be interesting. We're going we're gonna to move on. Honestly, that could be fight of the night. Saw Pappy Anthony Taylor. We should, Mams, Mams, you... I, I think, can I, can I make a suggestion, please, Mams? If the fight, if the fight is so close after three rounds... You know, maybe we go another round, Mams. One more well, round. Maybe we go one, one more, more round. round. <laughs> one more round, Mams. It's going to take one more, more than round. three rounds to knock me out, baby. You might hey, be about at least maybe, 12 maybe or 14. Maybe we do one more round, Mams. If, if, if they both agree to it, then we're, we'll facilitate. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll but, see, uh, we'll so see what Addy, happens on the Addy, night. The psychology. Keem, people, Keem, people, what do you think? People, 
What are you thinking, Keem? Keem, 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 no, no, keep what, what? it three rounds. Keep it three rounds, because I want to punish him for three rounds. Three rounds, Yep, uh, keep it three rounds. Keep uh, it three man, rounds. He, he also got out like with Idris Virgo. There's no way this guy, like, he's going to gas out, man, first round, second. Great, great, gas I'm going to walk this guy down, man, there's no way. Kim, Kim, what I'm saying, Kim, is if after three rounds, it's super tight, do we do one more? No, no, do keep we it do three. one more? Keep it three. Keep it three. I'm gonna punish you. Yeah, make, make it easy war, man. Three rounds. I so think we, we do go one more. Hey, no, 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 you're messing it up. This I'm is a KSI out. pay per view. We do second. one more round. I'm gonna keep it three. Okay. I signed the contract it's, for three, it's, it's, so we're gonna three abide by that. We forget Pompey's the war. It's the money. Let's get it. Yeah, I'm a man of my word. I signed the contract for three. I'm gonna oblige by that contract. We're gonna fight three rounds. It's gonna be quick. And after I knock him out, I got about two rounds left for me, ladies. Okay, so the, 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 okay. the part. Hey, y'all know what it is. Nova to Hotel, room 125. Oh, oh God, this guy. <laughs> this guy. Y'all know where to find me. <laughs> no one's gonna knock. All right, we move. We shall move on. This is the fight. Go on, kid. One, one second. One thing the guys got to remember, both of them, is in a three-rounder, the first round is everything. You lose the first round, you're in big trouble. You've got to win the next two. It's a big psychological difference. Indeed. Hey, that bonus out there. Yeah, I definitely need that, that money. Three round fight. This is Derek Chisora talking. Oh, easy. There you go. Del Boy's putting it up. That's what we're doing, Del. One second. One second. One second. Derek, we're all in. We're all in, Derek. Derek, 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 <laughs> you know what, yeah? I was watching you, Kim, from the corner of my eye. That's why I was able to get off the stage quick. I saw you coming. I expected it. Little Belzy, you okay? I'm good. You okay? Okay. Oh, they're definitely, they're definitely throwing hands. How many rounds are they fight, by the way? How many rounds is theirs? Three? Three rounds? Yeah, just let's keep, do it, keep, keep it, keep it to free. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Co-main event. Yeah, you're, on are you donating the hundred? Is he donating? Yeah, yeah, you just said that. No, 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 he's not. Uh, yo, I'll, I'll donate it. Oh, okay. do, yeah, I'll oh, do it. One second, man. one second. Let's Why end. not? No. Oh, man. No, wait, 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 ma'am. KSI wants to donate I'm, 100 no. grand. He can donate 100 Why not, grand. Bro? He always wants to put his money into everything. <laughs> let, let the man enjoy it. I don't think the fight's going three rounds. Not but... a by the way. Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me we fight three rounds, <laughs> winner takes on, that's an extra 100,000. Hey, lock me the fuck in. I'm going to the strip club after this. All oh, you motherfuckers, let's go. Let's we go. Lock it in four rounds. 100k to the winner. Run it. Hey, we'll figure something out. Actually, after. Ade, since you bring it up, can you get the zone to pay the extra hundred grand? The zone in my ear. The zone in my ear now saying Ade. Hey, y'all do that. I'll come out with a ring walk in the thong. Y'all do that shit. I'll be fighting in the thong. He be running all night. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go to that co-main event, uh, an interesting one. Look at two of the quietest guys on stage. They're watching all the craziness go on. Nothing. We've got my, my friend here, Deji. Looks like my uncle. I love this guy. <laughs> Against Swarms. Deji versus Swarms. And this is, the, this is the story of two guys that have come back, right? Deji. I feel like you've unlocked something after your Fuzzy performance. We didn't get to see you, Swarms, against Ryan Taylor, but you're in amazing shape. Talk to me, guys, about how this fight's come about. This was the surprise of the card. I didn't expect to see this one. Deji, how did it come about? Oh, I don't know. I just, I just got... You just said yes. Yeah, I said yes. You're in that, you're in that mood, isn't so, you? Yeah. So this is how it came about. I smote Ryan Taylor on one punch. Then I called out Deji in the diss track. Simple as. And I, see him, I see him as an easy opponent. Four fights, one win. Easy Deji. opponent. Easy opponent. Deji, how, how does it feel? Easy opponent. I mean, the last time you fought, you was in a ring with Floyd Mayweather. Mm. Didn't throw did... no punches either. I, I don't know. I, I, was saw crouching little, down, I saw a hands little nick up. under Floyd's eye. He did something. Hands up, crouching down like he had poo in his ass. Simple as. Deji, why am I sticking up for you? You stick up for yourself. Why am I taking this way? <laughs> I'm doing it for you. Deji, what do you make of that, though? And uh, I feel like he said something, didn't he? He had a T-shirt or something, rest yeah. in peace, Deji. That seemed to piss you off. Well, first of all, I want to say a uh, shout-out to my team. I want to give glory to God as well. Shout-out to Daily, Leon, my boy Shane. Yeah, these guys, they've just kept me just being happy yeah. doing all this whole thing. So, yeah, 
Um, yeah, I'm just here to fight, really. Like, Swarms can dish out everything he wants. I, I just, our fists will speak for themselves. So, yeah. Swarms, I can't lie, he's quietly confident, bro. I've seen this. This, this look that he's got right now, nothing's going to... You could say whatever you want, diss track, 100 diss tracks, nothing's going to get to him. Have you noticed this? Do you feel like you've unlocked something that you've really kind of just taken him to another angry level? No, he's, he's meditating, isn't it? He's, um, he's got his plan, so hopefully May the 13th will work for him. Are you looking past him a bit, Swarms? I've heard you say things like, I want his brother next, the rematch. I want this, I sort Pappy, Slim. You seem to want a lot of fighters. What about Deji? Bro, anyone that's put in front of me, I want to kill them, innit? Literally. And then after I kill him, I'm coming for his big bro. Oh. <laughs> Revenge. Cinderella, you better not be talking, bro. Revenge! There is no way you're talking about me. Bro, revenge. <laughs> what well, made you look like the Tasmanian devil from Looney Tunes, bro? There's no way. Mark my words. Mams, get it ready. Left right, so there ain't no Mams, way. get it ready. Mams, I'm get on it. a different league. Get it ready. <laughs> get it ready. Hell no. Did you, did you do a diss track for Dej? Did you do a diss track? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a couple of bars there for me? Right now. Right now. Oh, Come on, you're, 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 right you're now, a rapper. Man. Easy work for a rapper. This is easy. <laughs> ah. Come, what kind of bars? I've got, got two lines. Give me two lines. I've got three lines. Oh, give me three then. One in his heady, straight. Oh, it's a bit, it's uh, who said that? Who said, <laughs> who said that? Who said that? Yo, damn it, man. Uh, I think I think it was Derek Chisori. You know, don't say anything. I think it was Derek Chisori that said it. <laughs> Anyone else? I'll say get out there, but it's Chisori. So stay there. Stay there. Don't go out there for Chisori. Don't go out there for John. Uh, predictions, guys. What are you thinking, Deji? Last time when we see you fight in the UK, knockout, mm. Fuzi on the floor. Yeah. What are you predicting for this one? I'm, I predict fun, honestly. I'm, I'm here to just have fun. Mm -hmm. I'm going to showcase my skills. I want to show people what I can do. Yeah. And I'll teach them a lesson to not mention my name. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Like it. Yeah, yeah, round of applause. Yeah. 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 Ask me the question, please. Swarm's prediction. Sutton's getting broke. Oh. Rib, nose, <laughs> eyes, whatever. Okay. Literally. Literally, something. Main co main event. Could be a main event. Could be a main event. Co main event. This one. Deji versus Swarms. All right. Let's do this. Main event time. I love this one. This is it. KSI is back. I realize this is a roving mic. I can kind of go where I want to go here. Got KSI back versus. They, they're not even a millionaire. They've been calling you the billionaire, Joe Fournier. KSI. Self proclaimed. Self proclaimed. You haven't seen the bank account. That's what you're saying, right? Facts. Okay, cool. Talk to me. Joe Fournier, though, in Miami, I have to be honest with you, mm. I thought he weren't training. I was in Miami recently. It's very difficult to train in Miami. He took his top off the other day. He's in shape, shape. He's in shape, shape. Cool. You're in shape as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. When I knock him out, then what? When I'm dancing on this lifeless body, what's up? Hey. Joe? Obviously, I want him to wake up after. Yeah, I don't yeah, want no, him to no, of course. Yeah, no, come on, guys. Just for clarification. I know I'm dressed <laughs> up like I'm about to go to a funeral, but your boy's obviously going to have to do a business. A business deal. And actually, I have a quick business deal for you, right? Uh oh. Should I, should I move? Finally. All right, so. Oh! Brother, oh, I, got, I got some money in here, bro. We got, we got bands. We got $1,000. $1,000, bro, in ones. Because I know how much you like, you know, going to strip clubs and all of that, you know, spending and all that. He, he didn't, so I got he didn't a deal for you. No I got, you I got a deal for you, all right? So obviously, when I knock you out, your club, Bonbonnier, whatever the fuck it's called, keep is going to be worth less than $1,000. So I'm making a pro proposition for you right now. $1,000 for your club, bro. <laughs> See, this is how unoriginal you are, because I offered you $10 million for Misfits, because... That's what's yeah, yeah, and I'm offering you now a thousand. And now, and now you're just trying to copy me. Yeah. It's all right. You can try and right, right. make my Let life. Let me take off. I'll take off a hundred. It's okay. All right, nine hundred. Is that better? It's okay. Is that a better deal? You can emulate my life. All right, well, I'm a charity man anyway. You're never so going to be this handsome, you. though. So what I'll you give it to you anyway. <laughs> I'm a charity man, bro. Pick it up, bro. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on. There we go. Hey, hey, don't tip yeah, me. Hey, yeah, don't tip yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, don't tip me. Enjoy it. Pick it up, brother. Pick it up. I knew Anthony Taylor was going to go. So I just knew Anthony Taylor was going to come and take some money. No, no, Deji, Deji. Deji, that's mine. Deji, leave that alone. That's mine. What's beautiful, what's beautiful about this is this is actually how the fight's gone. 
They're just giving me free money to come in <laughs> against a beginner and just, you know, end his boxing career. And I'm just taking it like I did there. Throw the money at me, baby. <laughs> it's all good. Free money. Anyone else want more free money? Come get it. All you got to do is fight KSI. <laughs> Joe, you, you've obviously you had the professional fights, free Joe. Money. Joe, you've had the professional oh, fights, but you, you must watch him, though, and think this guy is a good boxer. Do you not think that? No, that's not what I think. <laughs> what do you think, Joe? I think that he's a beginner in the boxing world <sighs> that is, has a great publicity team behind him, a great marketing team behind him, a great manager behind him, and he has someone that has picked his fights very wisely, which is, that's how you should when you've had four fights or five fights. And the only thing that he can do is what any beginner can do is chase you around the ring trying to land the overhand right. But to land the overhand right takes a lot of steps in between when you're against an experienced fighter. And also is they, you know, he looks, he looks great. He looks fantastic. He oh, I got other punches did, as well. He did the cover of Men's I can help. hit you with an uppercut. So he's fit. Left and hook, he's right shape. hook. I can make you dance for me, bro. He's, he's, he's fit and he's in shape, but... At the end of the day, all he's going to do is run around like this, telegraphing around. I ain't going to run around. I'm going to be chasing you. I'm going to be hunting you, bro. Yeah. Well, you yeah. keep doing that. That's what I want you to do. Mm. That's, that's the plan. That's what mm. I want you to and do. And when I hit you, you're going to be surprised. You're going to be like, oh, shit, this, and he, this and guy he, got he, power. He hits, and he hits hard for a beginner. Oh, I hit so hard, bro. That's just what it is. I'm like, so Thor. Why, it's free money. If you've got another thousand, throw it at me too. I'll take it too. <laughs> no Go stress. ahead, throw that motherfucker. <laughs> um, I want to I get a word from the guy next to you, two, former 2 weight world champion, David Hay, former cruiserweight world champion, heavyweight world champion. David, you've known Joe for a long time. Is this task just a bit too much for KSI? I've, I've never known Joe to, be, Joe to be as motivated. You know, he said when he, when he set out on this boxing journey, they wanted the big fights. You know, he's not in it for the money. He wants the big stage, the big environments, and he wants to leave a legacy. Um, and he's fought the O2 Arena, he's fought, in, uh, he fought against, against myself in Miami, uh, 50 Cent and Donald Trump are doing the commentary, some crazy situations, and here he is uh, headlining uh, Misfits card at Wembley. So he knows his ego won't allow him to come off second best, and you know, very few people can compare to myself of ego, but Joe really gives it a go. And, um, <laughs> I definitely feel the potential embarrassment to losing to, as he said, a beginner has spurred him on in training to do way more than he's ever done before. And the fact that he's as light as he is now shows that, you know, it's all good and well talking. I'm you're taking it easy in Miami, but I was out there, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago and he was training like his life depended on it. And knowing uh, Alexis and Maris and everyone at London Shoot Fighters, I know that KSI is going to be, he won't be in any way possibly fitter than he is right now because he's, um, he, knows what, he, knows what's, he knows what's at stake and he knows how many hundreds of millions uh, are potentially in, in line. So KSI... Do you think he's going to knock me out? Pardon? Do you think he's going to knock me out? I think if, if you come out and if you come out blazing, if you come out um, like you did for your last few fights, you'll get caught for sure. Joe has the capabilities of, you know, hurting anybody and you'll have to be very, you'd have to be very, very uh, wary with you. Yeah, but I've never been knocked down in sparring. I, I believe so. I believe so. Because you've never been knocked sparring down in sparring for two years. <laughs> Joe, do you I, think you knock him out, Joe? Um, I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I was going to knock him out. KSI, do you think you knock out Joe? Yes, of course. I'm going to knock him out. Easy. And you know, I told him... I think, I think he's afraid, actually. Real quick, talking about sparring. Scared. I feel a bit sorry for him. Talking about sparring. So I heard you used to spar with what? Chris Eubank? Yeah. And uh, what's his name? James DeGale? Well, what's sparring got to do with so, this? So, 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 apparently, uh -oh, you, you, you told much. them, if you hit me in the face, you can't come to my club. Is that a true oh. story? Yes. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. <laughs> why didn't you ask him? Why, why can't they hit you in the face, ask bro? Him. Are you scared? Well, ask scared him. of getting punched in the face? Well, I have a handsome face, so, I mean, <laughs> if, I, if, I, if they would have listened, I, I probably would have used that I can't wait to destroy it then, this Saturday, bro. Okay, <laughs> Sai, it's okay to be afraid. It's okay. That's part of life. Sometimes you're scared, and you just got to just tough it out. Answer but, the question. 
Both, but both fighters. I'm, answer, I'm answering a question. I'm answering. A, I'm answering a question. Both fighters can't afford to lose this fight, and I, be, I believe. <laughs> yes, I, I believe Joe Fournier will knock him out. No, because. Because my, uh, my, my prior bro. history to gambling and boxing is, has gone pretty badly in the past. That's your boy. You're supporting your boy. Bet on it. I don't bet on boxing. 100K. Huh? <laughs> by the way, by the way, I, for the purpose I don't of bet those on watching boxing. this at home, that is Dorian Zora talking. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is Steve. You get here right now. Watch Zora talking. So go to the book. So go, go to the go, go to, to the bookies go to the and get some odds. Bet. Go to go to the bookies. But I don't even know who you are. That's the goat. That's, that's the that, champion. That, that's the goat. That's Chase the heavyweight the champ of the world. The heavyweight that's champ. The goat. That's, the that's the goat. Chase. That is the goat. Chase them all. <laughs> He's the guy who dropped Tyson Fury in sparring. It says Chase them all. This is the guy that is a good boxer. Chase, you don't want no more. Chase the whole. It's okay. This is how smart you are. You're like, you don't know who I am, but my name's right there in big writing. <laughs> dumbass. You dumbass. All right, anyway, look, it was great to hear from can't, everyone. Can't Stick read, wants us, to put a bet on. Because we are going to have more. Let we're going to hear ask, from more. Yeah, we're going to do yeah, face-offs. Let, well. let me ask Joe a question, Joe. Kala, Kala, we're going to have to do it just after this, Kala. Stick with us. We're going to no. do it just after this. Oh, Start that shit, Dean. Start that shit. Are we back on air? Okay. Are we on air? We are. We are back on. We are back. We are very hey, quickly back. Pull what, up from okay. what, what does Anthony Taylor want to say? Go on, Anthony, very quickly. What, what is it you want to say, Anthony? I don't want to be on TV talking about taking the money, but I just want to say, I'm going to take that motherfucking money. I know you're going to take the money. There's, there's about $300 Ant, behind Anthony Taylor. There's another four, mate. There you go, there you go, See, I got cut. Wait. Kala, Kala, very quickly, Kala. Sorry, I interrupted you. Yeah, what is no, you wanted to say? My, my question was, was Joe, we had a, obviously there was a big fight in this space earlier this year. Very, very similar situations, almost identical situations. Tommy Fury came out and said, you know, he feels it's sort of defender of the pro game, as it were. You feel like you're the defender of the pro game on Saturday night, given that you were top 10 in the world, WBA international champion, 9 and 0? I feel like Mayweather said it best. It's like robbing the bank, but in the daytime, legally. I feel like this is the easiest, going to be the easiest fight of my career. And I fought some really shit guys before. And, uh, and I feel like, you know, after I beat him, then the next fight is going to be 10 times the money. And so, so, so what happens when I knock you out and every time people come up to you, they'll be like, oh, Joe Fournier, you're the guy that got knocked out by KSI. No one's ever going to say that's not going to happen. How's that going to feel every day? It's not going to happen. For the rest of your life. I mean, it the pity happen. sex is going to go through the roof. <laughs> And then what happens when you're unconscious? All the girls on the gonna floor, be. Oh my God, Joe! Fournier. And then you're like, shit. Joe's the face of misfits. Oh, Joe's the most oh, famous sexy, YouTuber sorry, in the world, and I'm he doesn't sorry, have babe. YouTube. It's, it's, what are you it's gonna okay, do then, baby? I got you. Don't worry. We won't listen to KSI's music when we're. What fighting. are you gonna do then? I, I didn't. I'm more famous than you in the YouTube world, and bro, I don't have I'm YouTube. I'm going to sleep, you, bro. You saw what I did to Temper, and I was ill. You're talking about the world champion of like. Fucking Call of Duty, you beat him up, congratulations. It's like me going up to some like two year old, slap him in the face, feeling hard. Like, what are you talking about? At two weeks' notice, if you couldn't knock him out, you shouldn't even box for a fun, let alone talking about knocking me out, man. You're like super delusional, but it's okay to be scared. Okay. And what's yeah. gonna happen is, I'm gonna thank you for the opportunity after I knock mm -hmm. you out. I'm gonna be extremely humble. If, how, do you, how did you even spot, like, train for me? What? How did you even train for me? 
I got as there's no one I, that fights like I got as many uncoordinated, no superly in shape fighters that can only throw a right hand from the ankle. And I said, do you want $100 to spar me? I went around and then there we go. And then and I what, had like 50 KSIs down? show up. Did you get dropped? Sorry? Did you get dropped by one of them? I'm still, no, I didn't, unfortunately. Mm. All, all right, right. Oh, to, all right. We are going to do first. a face-off between all of these guys. And Derek, then... why are you here? Why do you always show up for no reason? Why are you here? <laughs> we can't hear you, Derek. Derek, we <laughs> can't hear Derek. All right. Um, here's a quick and final look at Saturday's fight card. I uh, remember Little Belzy versus Little Kim opens the card. Veruz versus DK Money. Tennessee Fresh versus Paigey Cakey. Talk Pappy, Anthony Taylor. Three rounds, four rounds. We're going to find out on the night. Deji versus Swarms. And then KSI versus Joe Fournier. Uh, thank you all for joining us. We're all going to see you tomorrow as well for the weigh-in, 6 p.m. UK time. And we're going to see you, obviously, on Saturday for the Countdown Show, 6 o'clock. And the pay-per-view card starting at 7 o'clock local time. It's X-Series 007, KSI versus Joe Fournier. KSI returns for X-Series 007, live on the zone pay-per-view. Two unbroken records. Ready to be shattered. Is over. I want to have a scrap with a guy. Two unbreakable mindsets set to collide in the ring. Knock him out. Clean. This will fly like sharks. I will break. X Series 007. They have a license to thrill, but only one will be broken. May 13th, live only on the Zone pay per view. Sign up at DAZN.com. They thought this would break me. But it has only made me hungrier. Vengeance heals anger. And I'm filled with rage.